Aka are maybe Lamasoft's masterwork. The game doesn't play quite like anything I've played before, and the design is smooth, challenging shooting perfection that has clearly been informed by decades of experience. However, just like other Lamasoft games, Aka R may simply be too much for some people, whether it's the insanity of the shooting or the flashiness and over-the-top acid trip visuals. The game has a subdued mode, which eliminates the flashy particle effects, but the game is still a lot to take in. Lamasoft is a two-person studio by Jeff Minter and Ivan Zorzin, and you'll understand a lot about their games by knowing about their passion for raising llamas, quirky British humor, and history of releasing more than 30 games across 20 platforms. Minter is the head director and responsible for much of the design, and Zorzin is the technical director who puts it all together and makes their gameplay among the most rock-solid in the arcade genre. Aka R itself began life around the same time as Lamasoft, in 1982, as an arcade prototype that never made it to release. Eventually, three prototype arcade machines found their way into the hands of just a few very private collectors, and those collectors chose as a group to never offer the game as a ROM to the general public, much to the consternation of game preservationists online. The game itself was only displayed publicly once at a convention in California in 2012. However, around 2019, a ROM was released to the MAME emulation project, and its origin remains a controversial mystery. One rumor has an arcade repair person secretly copying, essentially stealing the ROM from one of the collectors, then making it public anonymously, while another has one of the collectors changing their mind and releasing it without the controversy that would have been caused had they owned up to it. Whatever the case, the game has been available since 2019, and Digital Eclipse included it for the very first time commercially in Atari 50 at the anniversary celebration just a few months ago. Lamasoft's Aka R is quite a bit removed from the fast two-level gameplay of the arcade original, although all of the original's elements are there in some form. In this version, you'll use bombs to start a chain reaction, and firing a bomb resets your score chain. Firing bullets doesn't reset your chain, but consumes ammo that accrues when an enemy is destroyed by an explosive wave. Making good use of both bullets and bombs is key to getting through the levels and getting the highest score. Just as in the arcade classic, if enemies get too close, you can zoom into your base and continue the shooting on a macro level. In the original arcade, you had a shield to protect, while in this new version, you're protecting planets around you. Once you're out of planets, it's game over, although you'll earn additional planets by getting through enough levels and having more than 100 bullets left over at the end of a stage. There are 50 levels in total, and the continue system is very similar to other Llamasoft games, where you can pick up where you left off, start fresh, or start somewhere along the line where you had more planets. There are two main ways to play Akamar, using a modern controller and using a mouse. Similar to Missile Command Recharge, once you use a mouse, it may be hard to play the game any other way. Using a mouse gives you much more responsive control over shooting, since you don't have to steer across to the other side of the battle and can quickly zip over. It's a huge advantage, but one the VCS is not well prepared for, since there's been a bug with mouse control in Atari OS since launch. Trying to use a mouse button freezes the screen, and moving too far too quickly also causes a freeze. You can mitigate this issue and play Aka R with a mouse pretty well by steering with the mouse and firing with a modern controller in your other hand. But unlike Missile Command Recharge, where you only have one button to deal with, Aka R requires two or three, and zooming into the base using R2 can be tricky using this method. However, I rarely had to zoom in due to the easier accuracy of a mouse, and I was able to make it work with only occasional minor freezes. Still, the lack of proper mouse support in Atari OS means the VCS is not the best place to play this game. I imagine other console versions also struggle in this regard. It should be noted mouse support is also trackball support, so while you will have the same issues on the VCS, a trackball is otherwise supported in Aka R. I hate to be judgmental, but I think it's safe to say Aka R is an appeal to the stoner crowd. You don't have to be high to enjoy the game, but many of Lamasoft's games cater to best buds. There's really nothing else like the kind of idiosyncratic visuals and sounds of a Lamasoft game, and their dedication to excellent recreations of vector graphics is among the best around. I love Lamasoft, and Tempest 4000 is one of my favorite games in the VCS. 
Aka R soars above T4K due to its original gameplay and incredible execution. I describe the game as a bit of a reverse gyrus with missile command explosions that create an almost puzzle-like aspect to the shooting. Its brain-frying intensity mixes with moments of serenity, and the whole thing is overlaid with a headshot style sentiment and groovy geometric and kaleidoscopic playfield. If you can handle it, you'll probably love it. I love Aka R. Aka R requires a modern controller to play, the classic is not supported. I was also not able to use a keyboard to play the game. Unfortunately, while local leaderboards will keep track of your best scores, the VCS version doesn't have online leaderboard functionality that the other versions of the game do. If Lamasoft can get online leaderboards working and Atari gets its mouse control issues finally resolved, Aka R will be one of the best games in the VCS. As it is, it's a great game, but the VCS port is a slightly lesser version due to these bugs. I don't think these bugs are enough to advise against purchasing it on the VCS since there is a two-handed workaround, but it's a bummer to not be able to compare scores or play with a trackball or mouse as intended. Thanks for watching. I'll have more videos in the coming weeks, including looks at Orange Pixels Residual and Metgan Games A Path to the Princess. Liking helps spread the word, and subscribing gets these videos in your feed. Have fun!